Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and way down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I'm going to be making a video talking about PTSD nightmares. So where do we start with this subject? Beginning and when you have PTSD, some side effects occur. You have nightmares, weird dreams, flashbacks, panic attacks, anxiety, depression, all of the which are signs of trauma. So let me tell you a story about the other night. So two nights ago, I had a very intense and very real nightmare. Now, if anyone doesn't know, I was sexually assaulted in 2018 and life hasn't been the same since. So, where do you start? So yeah, I had a nightmare dream thing where basically one of the residents here grabbed my boobs the other week and since then I've been having nightmares about people coming into my room because my door doesn't lock broken I got like last time I locked my door I got locked in so that wasn't fun but I had a dream that, that this this resident came and got in my bed and started having sex with me and I ended up screaming and I woke myself up screaming thankfully and I, I didn't know if it had actually happened or if I was just dreaming and that's the level of intensity of these dreams. Trauma indu induced nightmares, dreams, whatever you want to call them, are the worst. Trauma nightmares are some of the hardest to deal with. I, I don't forget them. I will never forget them because they happened to me. And usually it's based on events that have happened in my life. If you want to know more about my story, I'll I'll try and remember to link on the iCard the my story video. It goes over everything. But yeah, the, these dreams are very hard to live with. I've been diagnosed with PTSD since I was seventeen. I thought I was hunched over. I'm impressed with my makeup today. what makes me happy. I'm literally wearing eyeliner and lipstick. But hey. But if someone around you struggles with PTSD, chances are they have nightmares. And my honest advice is to support them through it. Don't be scared when they wake up crying. And if, you, if you're there to support someone, let them know that you're there for them because I know all too well how it feels to be left alone in these situations. I've been in hospital and I've had nightmares and there's no one around. It genuinely is one of the hardest things to deal with when it comes to PTSD. PTSD is a very isolating mental health condition and I wouldn't wish it on anybody but yeah that's all I've got for this video thank you for watching if you have any experiences please comment it down below give me a thumbs up and like I said at the start of the video subscribe we're aiming to reach 7k by the end of the year so that's 500 more subscribers we can do it we can grow we can do this together Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.